Garrett and I have been moving ever so slowly into our new apartment and it's time to get a move on. So I've been putting off renting a lift, like an outdoor elevator for furniture because in our contract it says that we have to hire one to get furniture up. But guess what? We don't have any furniture, so we don't need a lift. But guess what? We need furniture, so we need a lift. But guess what? I don't want to buy a bunch of furniture and have to like organize it to all arrive on the exact same day and pay full price and order stuff without seeing it and the list goes on and on. So I'm determined to find a bunch of gems on DBA, which is like the Craigslist here and Facebook Marketplace. Um, and when I say I've just had to collect my thoughts. When I say I've been determined, I mean I am determined and I have been searching day and night for gems on these sites. And I found a bunch and I've been emailing or messaging a million people and I decided to schedule three pickups for tomorrow, which also means I need to hire the lift for tomorrow because we gotta get a couch up there and a desk and what else? Um, 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 Oh, a dining table. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, I'm feeling pretty frantic and stressed, but tomorrow is going to be a great day. We're going to go get a bunch of other gems from DBA. I keep saying gems. It's also what my mother-in-law calls Garrett and I, because G, M, gem. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna have a have a good night's sleep and go to bed. Wait, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna do that, but I don't know what I'm saying, so I'm just gonna stop it. Okay, bye. But just one more thing. Proof that the last few weeks have been just bananas. I know you already noticed it, but... I'm starting to grow dreadlocks gonna need to take care of that. It's 7.45 and we're about to leave to go. I don't know why I'm whispering. Um, we're about to leave. We're gonna hop on our bikes and bike to our friends Dennis and Loda's and borrow their car for the day. Let's go. We just did our first stop, got an ottoman. It was a success. And now we're gonna go look at a um, so bad at words, with words, <sighs> uh, a uh, TV stand, yes, so, and then we're gonna get a nice pot, a good, a good pot, a sturdy pot, one that will last a lifetime, I think, okay, let's go. Okay, now we have a little bit of time to kill uh, before VV comes and saves us by taking a trailer down Newhound and helping us load our beds that we got from our old apartment into the trailer and drive it across the street to our new apartment. Um, so with this little bit of time to kill, we're gonna go to Yusk and inspect dining chair prices because as we all know, Black Friday is coming up and it might just be better to just buy some new chairs on a really big discount so I don't have to run around the entire city trying to find a smashing good deal. So um, we're also going to rearrange our new apartment just a little bit to make room for the stuff that we're going to pick up. Okay, let's go. Okay, we just did a ton of stuff and I am wiped and I did not record any of it because it was just a crazy hassle. Um, yeah, taking a three meter by two meter couch down a stairwell from the fourth floor, which in US terms is the fifth floor, uh, was fun. Super fun. Um, and yeah. Then we went and got, oh yeah, 
we went to get a desk and the person wasn't home yet and the movers couldn't wait because you pay by the minute so they could have waited but I wasn't gonna make them wait forever okay the movers are about to arrive and the lift isn't gonna be here yet obviously we can't have that scheduled at the same time so we are going to store all of the stuff in this little driveway of ours um, until they arrive. So Garrett's gonna wait here. Um, and I'm gonna go see if we can um, get some other items. So I need to go find an ATM to get some cash because my mobile pay limit for the day ran out. Just like on Venmo, how it can run out. And yeah, anyway. Let's go. So Gary and I just met our next door neighbor um, because we were standing outside with all of our stuff and the following is not what happened. Lady comes walking out of her house through the back courtyard and observes two strangers standing in the shared driveway with furniture. Not what happened. Oh, hi there. It's nice to meet you. Are you guys moving in? I have observed that there are two strangers standing in the driveway with furniture. So it makes me think maybe you're my new neighbors and I wanted to introduce myself if that's the case. Garrett, why yes. Thank you for observing and thank you for your politeness. It is so nice to meet you too. We will be moving in here. Lady, well, welcome and sorry to disturb you, but I actually need to get through here with my car and it's quite narrow. So I don't think I'll be able to fit unless you at least temporarily move your stuff. Maybe I can give you a hand, but I do need to get out. Garrett, Certainly, thank you for offering to help too. That's no problem. We'll get your stuff. We'll get our stuff moved right away. The following is what actually happened. Is this your stuff? I need to get my car through here. Garrett. Uh, hi. Yeah, it is. Uh, do you need it moved right now or in a few minutes or? Well, I'm going to an exhibition that I'm in and it starts at three, so yeah, I need to move it right now. Garrett, oh, are you an artist? Lady, I'm a photographer. Garrett, so photographers are artists. And then chuckle, chuckle, haha, ha, way to break the ice. Garrett, he's so good at that. But it took a while to get there, didn't it? Anyway, then we moved our stuff and it was fine and we were friendly. Oh yeah, and this reminds me, um, actually, when, let's see if I can open this door with one hand. Oh yeah. It reminds me when Garrett and I first moved in here, um, our landlord was showing me where to put the trash in this back uh, courtyard. And this is our shared courtyard with that lady. And he, pointed out this big crack down the middle and he goes and on that side of the crack is North Korea so I don't know what he meant by that but maybe I'm about to find out the lift will be here in an hour and I'm going to text Vivi and see if she can be my hero again and come pick me up and take me to get the desk and chair that we weren't able to pick up in Festivro when we tried to for the first time. Um, so, let's see. Amazing news, Vivi can come get me, but I need to go park or repark Dennis and Lota's car into a legit spot because right now it's not. Um, and then I need to go get cash, um, but Vivi's gonna be here soon. And yeah, I gotta go do that while Garrett guards our stuff. I literally just went to three different kiosks and none of them have an ATM, even though they all said, oh, the one down the street has one. Oh, the one down the street has one. So now I'm running because Vivi's gonna be here in like 10 seconds and I have to go meet her at the street corner. And I'm just gonna have to figure out a different plan. 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Phoebe is seriously my hero today. On top of already coming here a couple hours ago to bring over our beds from the old flat to the new flat in her trailer and our massive dog kennel. And yeah, we have a massive dog kennel for two chihuahuas, but that's another story. Um, so we just got back from getting the desk and chair and it took us 30 minutes to go one kilometer because we got stuck behind a demonstration. So anyway, I'm just super thankful for Vivi today. And uh, the lift is here, but it's already been here for 30 minutes. So we gotta hurry and get the last of the furniture up. It ended up being that my, our landlord helped Garrett for the first 30 minutes get all the other furniture up because I wasn't here yet because we were so delayed. Ah! BB. <laughs> I have a meeting in three minutes. The lift just ended. Um, my meeting will last for about two hours. And then uh, I'm going to try and reach the lift. I know since we have the luxury of having our last part today. So let's uh, see how it goes. It's 9.45 p.m. We started this moving day at 7.45 in the morning. And this is the result of a 14-hour day moving. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah, oh yeah, looks so good. Um, anyway, I hope all of the stuff that we found on DBA suits us. We got a few items. Desk, couch, ottoman, dining table, bed, bunch of pots and pans. What else? I think I'm going to do inventory tomorrow and calculate on a good old spreadsheet how much money we saved by buying everything secondhand. Um, and if I think it was worth it, considering Garrett and I just had a 14 hour day, so 28 man woman hours later is it really worth it let's find out yes <laughs> 